Um, specifically here, or did he just? Do you know where he met? No, on tady byl už v 90. letech, ale 2003 tady měl koncert, to se setkali. No, několikrát se setkali, ale tohle to 2003 určitě, ale. He came repeatedly. Yes, yes. He was in 90s. Well, I mean, he came for concerts, but did he? He came for concerts. But he came specifically also to the library. Yeah, it was a concert in. Of course. Of course. No, no, but did he come specifically to, to, to meet with Havel afterwards, or was he sort of with his... Yeah, it was always probably interconnected, but the main aim was to give the concert, and he knew that he would be, he would have the audience here. Right. Oh, no, 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 but I meant when he met with, with Havel, because I saw the, the picture with him, with, with, with also with Dagmar, Dagmar, and uh, I, I didn't know if it was just taken outside the show, or... Because I know Joan Baez was here for in 2009, uh, November, um, yeah, to commemorate, and, and I guess, and so I was just, I know that she would meet with him individually, but, but Dylan is a little more uh, mercurial and mysterious, so I'm curious if there was actually privately a friendship, because I'm sure there could have been. I mean, you could keep it private, it's okay too. Oh, but. no, I'm not. I don't <laughs> think I'm not. I don't think I'm not. Yeah. Martin is, uh, from his personal um, feelings, he would have, yeah, they, they knew each other, but he would not talk about any kind of a, you know, level of friendship. Uh, Martin is mentioning Lou Reed, like mm -hmm. you would expect to be a right. uh, more um, warm connection. Or, um, How often did Lou Reed come back and forth? Did he come specifically to, to see his friend? and? Not, not is it? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, he's more of a street poet, you know. He has more of like a uh -huh. Uh -huh. different no. sensibility. Leonard Cohen too. Yeah, no, he oh. regrets that we never. Uh, oh. they, they never day, to be... That's interesting. Never, never. Yeah. Yeah. That's shocking. No, but but over period, 70s, 80s, 90s, I'm surprised. But I read that I read that the Rolling Stones uh, helped with some of their interior decorating. I was reading it downstairs that there was some 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 Spanish design. Yeah, the decorations. <laughs> Uh, uh, was on, on the castle rather than oh the, the castle, castle right the Spanish hall which is Spanish hall right impressive uh, you know, I can picture that and it's absolutely charming place so they financed uh, the lightning there they financed it the lightning yeah mm -hmm. the, the, mm -hmm. the do we know how much it cost yeah. that was a, that's a very yeah. noble gesture by the Rolling Stones yeah, well, uh, I'm sure it was Mick Jagger behind it, you know. It's that's a kind. That's a very kind gesture, you know. That's like no, because it it leaves a a mark, you know. It leaves like you know it, when people pass in the castle and they know that it was designed by Mick Jagger creates an added yeah sta uh, a stature. This is, yeah, yeah. It has uh, just days uh, like open days. For public, usually it's not uh, accessible for public right. freely. Oh, okay. It's real occasions, but it really is a charming place. And since there is a lot of crystal and uh, mirrors, the light there is just crucial for the whole impression, for the whole. Uh, Fascinating. Yeah, it's so so definitely it cost a lot of uh, money, but definitely left a footprint there. <laughs> yeah.